Okay, my next little video, I've got to fix this lawnmower again. Um, I've already done heaps of work on it. I've already completely rebuilt this deck. It, it rusted through and I've rolled new plates on underneath and stuff like that. And, and cleaned it all up and repainted it with hammer white and that sort of thing. Um, the deck is okay now. Now the problem is, it doesn't drive. <laughs> So, <coughs> now it stops driving you along, it doesn't actually, uh, it's, it, it feels like a belt slipping. Um, it goes better backwards and forwards, which is interesting as well. But, um, what I found when I went to pull the deck off, is there's all this oil and crap all over here. So it looks like it's got an oil leak, which has then run down to the belts, which has then made them slip. That's what I'm suspecting is wrong. The belt feels tight enough, it's got a little bit of play in the, um, well, a little bit of extra tension available. So it looks like it's got an oil leak. So my next job today is not electronics based, but uh, mechanical based. That's the filler tube. So I'm hoping it's just an O-ring at the bottom of the filler tube, or it could be that plug there is a bit loose, or and it's running down inside the engine through the bottom base plate and onto the belt. Um, so all this is all soaked in oil all down here and uh, you know I've only got a couple of hours to work on this today if I have to go to work I'm well enough to go to work today so I'll be doing that and uh, let's see we go I'm going to give it a clean up first and try and figure out exactly where yours came from okay I'm getting a little bit of a clean up around here uh, just got the water blast through out and give it a CNT with that so hopefully it's going to allow me to find out where the leak is I uh, let it dry out and just uh, put under some pressure and see what happens. Right, it's a bit noisy, but um, I'm going to get closer in a second. The uh, engine is actually moving around slightly, it needs to bottle down a bit more. I can't find a leak yet though. So I gave that engine a clean up and uh, haven't found a leak. So I've ran it for a while, but there's no sign of any leak. There's a the water still around, but there's no oil that I can see. So I've got to come back to that later on after I've had some more runtime. <coughs> so I'm still sick. Yeah. So next thing I'll do is I, I just slip this tube out here, the chute, and. Um, that shows you the there's the drive pulley for the gearbox that was turning pulley the belt was turning the drive was turning it wasn't moving so even though i was actually pushing the pedal and stuff like that it was, wasn't activating properly so i think that the uh, there's an issue with the gearbox i'm going to pull it out and have a look okay i started pulling all this apart to try and get the gearbox out um there's four bolts underneath just under here, there you go, just there, uh, taking those nuts off that side, there's nuts and washers that go on those, <coughs> there's a bolt there which goes, if I can find the bloody thing on the camera, we're going to fucking find it, there, there it is, there, the hole there, I've got to take, I've taken off the little arm there, taken the bolt out, which is what that's for, um, I'll have the gearbox out shortly and find out what's going on. Now just in here, there's the arm for the drive. Just there's a bolt. I've had to jack it up a bit and get it separated um, before I can disconnect the bolt because I can't actually go onto it. So it's just under there. And uh, I'll do that next. Alright, so I managed to get the bloody axle out. <sighs> Got a mission anyway. Um, It's not great in the sun, but anyway, the, uh, that's the best information I've got. Unfortunately, all the numbers are gone, so <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. So I'm hoping that 205050C will be enough to find out what the hell it is. Yeah, uh, what's we got here? 6264PI, is that? There's some other stuff here, can't read at the moment. I don't know. Make that out. 
Yeah, so. Yeah. Quarter mission. This one's bad. Yeah. So, I can't have enough of this really. But it looks like it's got an oil filler on the top. Right, so I found some research online from someone who's got a very similar gearbox to this. It's almost identical, just um, I think it's got a different brake system on it. Where they, they had issues with the same gearbox, and um, they found that by changing the oil, it restored it back to normal operation. Apparently, it lasted a few years at least. It's still going. Um, and I followed the instructions to take this little cover off that's on here. Um, which is this little bit here, this little cover. These little Torx screws, security Torx, and um, this little rubber baffle thing here, which sits inside it. And um, so I've, I've tipped the oil out. There was a little bit in there, it's, it's very low on oil. Basically, I pulled the rubber out, and this, the chamber was basically empty, and it's supposed to be full. So um, I'm going to be refilling this. The recommendation is uh, 20W50 oil. But um, I don't have any. Uh, I do have some 15W40, which is in my other garage. But unfortunately, there seems to be a wasp nest right by the door. So I can't get in there right now. <laughs> so uh, I've got some other stuff I can use. It wasn't 10W40, so I'll try using that um, and we'll see how that goes. But if that works okay in winter, but not in summer, then at least I know that I need to turn to change the oil again. Um, so I'm going to be doing this and we'll hopefully we'll restore it. Right, so I'll just get in the gearbox and stuff, or the axle back in again. Um, I've just lowered it down, I've just got the bolts protruding through, so I've got to reattach those bolts. I've already hooked up that coupling, which is just down there. Um, I've got a few other bits and pieces of glue, but it's, it's coming along. So it seems the hardest bit of this is actually trying to get it back together again. That bolt hole there was a bit tight to get lined up, so I've had to leave, put the bolts in, get everything lined in now to try and leave it around and make it all fit. Um got to do this side yet but um I don't know if I'll be able to see it. If I can find a hole. There's a hole there. I don't even see that's not lined up very well. So yeah anyway, we'll get there. Alright I've done a little test drive on it, it worked. It wasn't great but it worked. Hopefully it'll get better once the air comes out of the system. Now I'm just bolting the back piece back on again. The little hooks there in the back plate, and I've got the seat back on. So we'll see how this goes. So I've had the mower out today. Uh, drove it down the road, got some petrol for it, and uh, it was a bit slow on the way there. And uh, I cut the grass on the outside the burn there, and, and inside here. This was quite long, it's about a foot long in here, so that's why it still looks quite bad. I couldn't cut it in full depth. But um, the mower is actually going now. As, as I went around, it got better and better. So um, it's looking like the uh, issue is fixed with that. But so the drive at least now works. So I'll come back to have another look for this oil leak, which I found before, and I can see it's a bit it's a bit wet just around that filler tube there. So. Uh, well, that's wet. You can see some running down the side here. Before this is all spotless, so um, that's where the leak must have came from, is from that filler tube, which is kind of where I suspected it would be. Um, so I'm probably due for an oil change. You know, I mean, who knows when it's had an oil change? I bought this. Well, my wife found it and I <laughs> and bought it for me to fix it up and use. Uh, oh, was it eight months ago, nine months ago now, and. Um, I had to fix a lot on it and I haven't done the oil change on it so who knows when it is last done so I might actually just uh, change the oil out put some new oil in and while I've got it changed out I'll um, pull that tube off and see about fixing it must just be a dodgy o-ring